EFNN, The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, the third day of January 1st, trading day first, not even trading, trading half hour of the market, 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network update. We're looking at the Dow down 62 at 33,086. The futures were up quite sharply starting yesterday um, in the evening and then accelerated through the night into this morning. Um, now we've come back from that. Actually, this is a lot better. I would have preferred that we had weakness and late strength rather than early strength and then weakness. But my suspicion is there are people that are coming in wanting to start buying um, right now this particular week. And there are those that have really got all this selling out the way. So the sellers right now are just, pure, I think, purely technically oriented um, because the the buyers are looking at 2023, having gone through the first 30 minutes of the set of the day, of the first trading day. Um, you really can't tell all that much. We've got a leg B in the S and P. It's down 81 cents at 38, uh, 38. Until we start to see trading in the 39.05 to 39.10 area, hopefully this week, uh, we can think choppy, 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 and choppy, choppy, choppy is the QQQs. They had a really nice early rally to 270.15, now trading about four points lower, 266.05, uh, down 33 cents. The IWM, the Russell 2000, is uh, had a nice pop. It's still holding up 70 cents at 175.04. I, are we going to be watching closely to see if the Russell 2000 small caps don't find some strength uh, this week? And the gold had a had a nice spike to the upside, still holding very really well at 22, up 22 at 18.48 in the continuous contract, made a new recovery high. I think that's important, especially when you think that the dollar, I don't know if it's holding the gains. No, it's not holding the gains. It's up 93 ticks at 104.45. A very nice upside spike, but you have to see it close towards the 104 and 90 area today and then go to 105.45 over the next two days. That'll say, okay, dollar's going to find some strength. Looking at crude oil, uh, crude oil at this particular point, giving back a little bit of the gains down 73 cents at 79.54. And the TLT, and this is going to be a big thing, the TLT had a huge spike, so yields are coming down intraday. Dow's down 45. We'll be right back with the Tiger Technician's Hour. Check out my opening call daily newsletter. See you in a few minutes.